The second part of your lab will require you to put a thread on your other end of your 18 inch piece of pipe using the manual method. The manual method consists of using your tri stand from Rigid, a hand threader tool that's got a ratchet built into it, and your hand reamer. Once again, you're going to need your bucket with oil for when you're threading to keep the threads cool so you don't damage them. And you're going to need the correct type of die. We're going to once again be doing the half inch, but the hand threader does come with multiple dies that fit into it. This one here is a one inch, and this is a three quarter, and they are all interchangeable by removing and replacing with the proper die that you need. Today we'll be using the half inch threading die. One. So we're going to set up our pipe in our in our vise. This is a chain vise. You should uh, flip the chain over and by cranking this handle it will tighten down on the pipe and give you pipe that's sturdy so when you're doing the threading it won't move on you. You need to have at least a couple inches in front of it so you can put your die on. So get comfortable with what you need and fasten it. Alright so we're all set to go and we're going to need our half inch threader. Once you got your pipe set up we're going to get ready to use our our, uh, our die, our half inch die. There's one that has one die in it and you can interchange them as I mentioned earlier. We also in the shop have another type that has all three in one unit. So you got your half inch, your three quarter, and your half inch. And basically you spin this around and this doesn't have any ratchet action. So there's two types of uh, hand threaders we'll be using. Depending which one is available, you'll pick the, the one. For the demonstration, I'll be using the ratchet type threader. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to put this die, place it onto the pipe, and depending which way you're going to turn, you apply pressure forward and you start applying a die. We want to turn in a clockwise direction such as this to get the die going and then when you want to back it off, you need to flip the the ratchet on the top and this will allow the device to ratchet the opposite way. So depending which way you have your arrow set will determine which way the ratchet works for your your hand die threader. So we're all set up, we have the the die on the machine and we are ready to start the threading. We have our oil ready, we want to make sure you've probably checked already like you did in the previous that we have oil on the bottom and if we squeeze the trigger, oil comes out so we know we have enough oil in the bottom of our, our oil pan. You'll start your threading by applying a little bit of pressure forward as you turn and eventually you will feel a tightening or it gets a little harder to turn. This means that the actual threads are starting. Then you can take your hand off away from the pressure and as you, you apply the cranking action it will continue to draw the threads. So as you start doing that, you should try to apply oil in the little holes as you're turning. And continue that until you reach the same spot that we did with the electric threader, which is almost at the end of the threads. <coughs> as you can see, we've reached where we want to stop threading the pipe. Our threads are basically at the last part of the die and this should be enough threads on the pipe now to meet the requirements of table 40 of your code book. We're now going to remove the, the die from the pipe by turning the die in reverse direction. You'll notice also in this close up that it does say that this is a half inch die and if you had any other types of dies that would be marked on the front. Mm -hmm. So now that we want to remove the die from the pipe, we need to reverse the ratchet. So basically by turning this dial here allows you to 
unwind the pipe from the thread. So now instead of turning clockwise, you can turn counterclockwise to remove the thread. So by doing it in this direction, the thread gets loose. At a certain point, the thread should be lo uh, loose enough where you can probably spin this by hand and spin it, keep spinning it till you remove the, the die totally from the, the threads that you have done. So that comes out, have the filings fall through, put your threader aside, and as you can see, we've got the threads required as per code. But as you can look on the front here, and we will zoom in, the pipe requires to be reamed on the inside. We have a little bit of a lip, and that kind of lip will cut into our pipes. So now we will get our hand reamer out and ream the inside of that pipe to remove those burrs. One. So if we position the camera to get a better view, we will now grab our reamer. We put it into the hole. Put your hand on the reamer. Once again, putting pressure inward, and by turning it, you can start reaming the pipe, and you'll see little filings being dug out as you're reaming that. You only want to remove the burrs, you don't want to do too much. Take a quick look at it, you can see if it needs a little more. And once that's done, that's your reaming part. So now your burrs should be gone, put your reamer aside, and basically your pipe is done. You can back off your chain, remove any oil or filings that might come out, take a rag, wipe your filings and any oil, make sure that you have no burrs on the inside, so now you should have a thread on this side and a thread on the other side from your electric threader, you're now ready for your, your instructor to mark your project. So that is how you do your hand threading using the tri-stand, hand threader, and hand reamer.